Hello everyone. In this, we are continuing with our quantitative techniques, uh, BCS fifth semester subject, unit one, sorry, unit two, part one. Some of the important questions. First one, a bus travel at a speed of 60 km per hour for three hours, find the distance. So here we know speed is distance by time. Here speed is given as 60. Distance is the one what we are supposed to find. And time is given as 3, which means our distance will be 180 km. That is the first part of the question. Let us move on to the second question. A train travels for 6 hours, means time is 6 hours. At 90 km per hour, which means the speed is 90 km. Again, here we have to find out the distance. The speed is equal to distance divided by time, which means 90 is equal to uh, D divided by 6. So, which means <clears throat> the distance traveled is 540 km. So, that is our second question. Let us move on to the next. What was the day on 13th of September, 1986? So we will be following certain steps to find out the day. So first one, step, step one, we will write down the last two digits. That is 86. Then in step 2, we will divide by 4 and take the quotient. 4 twos are 4 ones are. So we will take 21 only. Third step, we'll take the date. Here it is 13. Then fourth step, we need to consider the month code. Then next step is to we need to consider the year code. Then we will be finding the total. Then sixth step, what we will do is we will divide the total by seven and find the remainder. Let us consider about our code, month code. So let us write the months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So this and this we'll consider first. We'll write zero double three. Here we'll write zero three five. This one and this one. Here we'll write six one four. This is six two five. So the core corresponding to April is six. The core corresponding to June is four, like that. So here the month is September, September's code is 5. So we take 5. Now comes the year code. Year's code. 1600 to 1699 
code is 6, 1700 to 1799, code is 4, 1800 to 1899, code is 2, 1900 to 1999, code is 0. Then 2000 to 2099, code is 6 again. So here the year is 1986, code is 0. <clears throat> then we have day code also. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, let us add this 5 plus 3, 8, uh, 9, 9 plus 6, 15. 1, 9 plus 2, 1 plus 8, 9, 9 plus 2, 11, 11 plus 1, 12, 125. Now, let us divide this by 7 and take remainder. We will get... Uh, 7, 125, 7 1s are 7, 5, 5, 7 7s are 49, we get 6. So the remainder is 6, which means the corresponding day is Saturday. That will be the solution for this particular question. Now let us move on to the next question. What was the day of the week on 26th January 1950? So again, we are following the same steps. Step 1, last two digits. fifty. Then divide by 4. And take quotient. Four ones are four, uh, one, four twos are eight, so it is twelve. Then third step, take the date. Date is 26. Then take the month code. Month is January. Let us see what is the code. It is 0. Then fifth one, take the year code. Year is 1950. And for that the code is 0 again. Now. Let us add this and find total. 6 to 8, 88. Sixth step. Divide the total by 7 and take the remainder. So, 7, 88, 7 ones are 7, 1, 8, 7 twos are 14, remainder is 4. Since 4 is remainder, then the corresponding day will be Thursday. That will be the solution for this question. Let us move on to the next one. The angle of elevation of a tower at a point uh, 90 meter from it is <coughs> cot inverse of 4 by 5. Find the height of the tower. So now let us draw one right angle triangle.
So we will call this as ABC. This is CBC is our tower. And let us consider that height as H. And they say an angle of the elevation of the tower at a point 90 meter from it, which means AB is 90 meter, is cot inverse of 4 by 5. So let theta is equal. This is our theta. Let theta is equal to cot inverse of 4 by 5, which means cot theta is 4 by 5. When cot theta is 4 by 5, then tan theta will be 5 by 4. Right? So we will consider, we, we already got this uh, tan theta. And tan theta means it is opposite. Opposite here it is BC. By adjacent it is AB. Which means BC 5 by 4 is equal to BC is H and AB is 90. So cross multiplying, we will get H as 90 into 5 by 4. So if we calculate that, we will get 112.5 meter. So that will be the solution for this particular problem. Let us move on to the next. From a point on a level ground, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degrees. If the tower is 180 meter high, find the distance of the point from the foot of the tower. Again, let us consider a right angle triangle. This we will consider it as point P and uh, this is the tower. So we will consider QR as the tower. The angle of elevation is given as 60 degrees. Mm. Now we have tan 60 degrees is equal to opposite that is QR divided by PQ. QR is given as 180 meter. So this is 180 divided by PQ. Tan 60 is nothing but root 3. That means PQ is nothing but 180 by root 3. Multiply root 3 and root 3 in denominator and numerator we get PQ as 180 into root 3 by 3, which will give you 60 root 3 meter. That is the desired distance. Right? Let us move on to the next question. A cone has a height of 12 centimeter. So H is given as 12 centimeter and a base radius of 3.5 centimeter. How much ice cream can be put into the cone? So we need to find out the volume of the cone. And let us rewrite this 3.5 centimeter as 7 by 2. Both are same. And the volume of the cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h that is 1 by 3 22 by 7 r square means 7 by 2 again 7 by 2 i am writing two times because of square height is 12 centimeter so 1 7 gets cancelled and denominator 3 into 4 12 that 12 gets cancelled with this so ultimately we land up with 22 by 7, sorry, 22 multiplied by 7, which we get 154 
centimeter cube. This much of ice cream can be put into that cone. So that is the solution for this. Let us move on to the next problem. Calculate what will be the surface area of a cube whose volume is given as 216 centimeter cube. So we have volume of the cube is nothing but a cube and that is given as 216 centimeter cube which means our A will be 6 centimeter. Now we have to find out the surface area of the cube. That is 6 times A square, which is 6 times 6 square, which will again give us 216 centimeter square. That is the solution for this question. Let us move on to the next. A person can swim in the water with a speed of 13 km per hour in still water. If the speed of the stream is 4 km per hour, what will be the time taken by a person to go 68 km downstream? So let S B is equal to speed of the person. in still water. Then S U equal to speed upstream then S D is speed downstream. then yes yes will be speed of the stream now what is given we have to find out if the speed of the stream is 4 km per hour this is 4 km per hour and the person's speed is 13 km in the still water this is 13 km per hour. What will be the time taken by a person to go? 68 km downstream. So speed of downstream will be speed of the person plus speed of the stream. That is 13 plus 4 km per hour, which is 17 km per hour. Now, we are supposed to find uh, the time taken by him. So, speed is equal to distance by time, which means time is equal to distance divided by speed. Distance is given in the question as 68 kilometers. Speed just now we calculated it is 7. So that means the time will be 4 hours. That is the solution for this particular question. Let us move on to the next. A woman can row upstream at 16 km per hour. Means speed upstream is 16 km per hour. And the downstream speed is 26 km per hour hour. We are supposed to find speed of the stream. Speed of the stream is nothing but speed of downstream minus speed of upstream divided by 2. That is 26 minus 16 by 2. It becomes 10 by 2 or 5 kilometer per hour. That is the solution for this particular problem.